What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast, and behind me, we have the Hammerdown Motorsports shop and our 2019 Ram Rebel. Now, when I bought this truck, I wasn't really thinking about getting Ram boxes. I actually was convinced by the sales manager to get them because he's had them on all of his trucks. And today, we're going to talk about a little bit why you should probably consider getting Ram boxes if you haven't thought about it before. So as you probably already noticed, our weather here is pretty terrible. We have ice in the trees and we have rain and wet ground everywhere. So yeah, pretty good time to go in the shop and have a little closer look at the truck, which fortunately enough for me, I did wash before they had salt on the road. So now I can keep it inside and keep it dry. So for those of you out there who are thinking, I wanna get a new Ram, but I'm not sure about the Ram boxes. I think it might take too much of the bed space away and I don't really know if I need them. Well, this is just kind of my take on it. As you can see, we do have some remnants of drywall in here. I have been hauling building supplies for the mezzanine in this truck and I didn't really have too much of a problem. It is a tiny little bit tight over here, just kind of getting them in square. If you have them a little bit off to one side, you can end up hooking on those, but if you are careful, it's not really that bad. And if you had to haul materials with this truck, it really isn't a big deal to get them in here. They do fit quite nicely. So the advantage of the Ram boxes versus just your standard toolbox that you kind of put in the front of your bed and it might have like the gull wing style doors or maybe just one that flips back and you got to climb into the bed to basically get at it. I mean, a lot of times, especially when you lift your truck, those things are, you know, up here and it's really hard to see what's inside there or, or to reach it. It's really easy to get at these. You just push your button, open it up. You got little lights right here in the lid so you can see what's going on inside here. This one I actually keep clean. A lot of times I put groceries in here. I put ice in here. If you wanna put drinks or anything, you wanna go down the beach or something like that, you wanna keep your stuff cold. Even if you're going fishing, you wanna keep your fish on ice or something like that. This works really, really good for that because it does have little plugs in the bottom you just pull these out and then you can drain the water at the bottom. So you got one on either side so you can get all the water out of this compartment. And it actually has these little dividers here as well. If you wanted to buy, there's little pieces that go in here and you can actually make little compartments up top if you don't want things sliding around. So one thing with the lighting on here, there is a switch right here to turn it on and off. You just hit the switch. There they go. They turn off. You can leave them on. They do time out over a certain amount of time. And I'm not sure if they actually turn off when you close the lid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my GoPro inside here and we can answer that question for anybody that was wondering if you could just leave that switch on all the time without worrying about those lights staying on. All right, so we can see we have our cargo lights on, the bed lights are on. We have our lights under the Ram box lid on. Let's set our GoPro down inside. Close the lid. So now let's head over to the other side open this guy up here and also what you do get with the ram boxes is this 110 400 watt plug-in so now if you're tailgating or you're out on the beach or something like that you want to plug in a charger you want to plug in your stereo anything like that you do have that available there's actually a switch in the cab where you activate that so if you push this button right here you can activate your 110 plug and have that activated. And you also have your button right here for your cargo lights as well. Turn them on and off. And on this side as well, you do have your plugs. But like I said, I keep this side just more for straps. I got my snow brush in here. I've got extra cord, kind of stuff like that. More utility stuff that I don't wanna have rolling around in the cab. Because if you see in here, I would mostly have to have all that kind of stuff underneath the seat. This is just stuff that the dealer actually left in here. This is stuff that the truck came with. I really haven't had to deal with anything underneath the seat whatsoever. Basically all I have in here is my sunshade because if it was in the Ram box, I'd probably forget to use it. But all in all, I just have the stuff that the truck came with underneath the seat. And I don't really have to think about it too much. I don't really use the under seat storage all that much, but when I didn't have Ram boxes, that's where all this stuff went. And if you have tie downs or any of that kind of stuff, and it gets dirty, then where are you going to put it? You got to put it back in your cab or you got to have it rolling around in the bed. That's just not ideal. The Ram box is definitely something I would have on any half ton that I would want to get. That's probably almost a reason that I would go back to another Ram truck just to be able to have this option. So that's about all I got to say about Ram boxes. Like I said, I absolutely love them. But at this point in the video, if you guys have made it this far, we're going to do a little walk around in the shop. Just kind of show you guys where we're at on a few of the projects. Give you guys a little bit of an update. So let's go check it out. <laughs> 
So just as like I said, we're going in the shop. I'm gonna show you guys something that we have outside. We have countertop right here. This is actually, neighbor Mike just did a whole new kitchen in his house. Yeeks, this is the one that he used to have in there. It's actually pretty nice. This is like a Corian countertop. Just need to clean it up a little bit. And I'm probably gonna be using this up in the kitchen kind of area in the mezzanine. Gonna clean it up. And I'm actually thinking about doing maybe a epoxy coat on it. Doing some crazy kind of colors in there. I've been watching a few videos on that. Actually looks pretty sweet. But I mean, all in all, this is actually a pretty nice counter to begin with. But I think we might be able to spruce it up a little bit and kind of make it our own. And over here we have a trailer full of scrap metal. We gotta take that over to the dump and get maybe one maybe three dollars for all of this i don't know i guess we'll wait and see over here we have the f-150 this is our 150 dollar f-150 it's actually been a pretty good yard truck i've been beating this thing around pretty good actually almost ended up in the creek with it the other day i was driving over to neighbor mike's house and everything is super super muddy out here and i slid sideways and actually clipped this mirror and knocked it in it actually really didn't do anything to it but kind of would have been a cool video if i would have got that on tape but yeah, all in all, we're still just beating on this truck and having a great time with it, much like our green one up the hill. And over here we have some Camaro stuff. I really, really want to get this car put back together as soon as possible so we can do the headlight reveal. I'm just waiting on our charge pipe to come back from Westy's shop. He's got a lot going on over there, so hopefully you can knock that out by the end of the week and we can put this all back together and get this off the lift. And then we can go do more stuff on the Ram because we do have some more in store for this truck as well. And over here I have a pile of OSB. This is gonna go on the lower walls. It's gotta get all the insulation in. And I'm thinking about putting a mini split down here for AC in the summertime. And I haven't decided exactly where that's gonna go just yet. And I have to decide where all the benches are gonna go and all the cabinets that I have over there, somewhere in here, all that stuff is gonna end up. And I kinda gotta play the game of where it all has to go so I can finish it and have things where they need to be because we have receptacles and all that kind of thing. I might actually be putting the shelving, like the lockers and all that kind of stuff in this area, I was kind of thinking, because I don't have to worry about receptacles, because if I put it on this wall, I'm gonna run into a couple of them and then I'll have to move them and I don't really wanna have to do that. And we basically have to get all of this stuff in this area nicely organized so it doesn't ever look like this ever again. Then over here we have our pile of drywall, which is gonna be going up the stairs into the mezzanine. Let's head up there real quick. And we have all our insulation up here. If you guys have seen this update before, we have been in here kind of showing you guys what's going on. Just need to get all of our drywall up on the walls. The ceiling is pretty much done, just needs to be taped. And then I can start building the little kind of bar area that's gonna go here. And then this is where that countertop's gonna go back here with a refrigerator and it should start to take shape. And some of you might have noticed we are shooting on our new camera. This is the Sony RX100 Mark VII, brand new to the channel, so hopefully everything is sounding good, looking good. I'm still playing with the settings a little bit, trying to learn on this camera a little bit, but so far it seems to be a step up from the Canon G7X Mark II that we had before that kind of had focus issues and all that kind of thing. Hopefully this one is working a whole lot better, but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.